Hi, welcome to Techverse. In this video, I'll show you how you can make a power inverter based on the TL494 password moderation IC. So the final build is as shown. So here is your input 12 volts and here you have the three connections to the transformer, the center tap and the end primary windings. So for the MOSFETs, you'll be needing the IRF3205. If you use any other MOSFET, the output power will depend on the current energy capacity of the MOSFET. So this is the IC and this is the output feedback capacitor and the diode as well as the resistor defender network. So the PCB is as shown, nothing fancy. So the input, the connection to the transformer, the power MOSFETs, the IC and its mandatory biasing components. So let's go through the circuit. So at the input you have your battery, the, the IC is powered through a uh, the end diode at the regulation capacitor so there's also an input capacitor to stabilize the voltage so the IC is connected to operate as a push-pull driver the frequency is given by this formula with the parameters are shown the frequency is about 50 Hz you can tweak the values of the resistor or the timing capacitor to obtain any desired frequency from 50 to 60 Hz so the, this section here is known as soft start whereby the end time pin receives 5 volts when the IC is immediately pumped on so the output PWM is zero but as this capacity changes the voltage at the end time control pin will reduce to almost zero as so this will allow the output PWM to gradually increase this reduces the stress imposed on the output transistors when the inverter starts operating so for voltage sensing you have this network so there is a resistant fader network so when about 2.5 volts develops here you'll be feed back to the secondary amplifier and which will have a high output and so the output PWM will be limited so the reference voltage is set up to about 2.5 volts through this other resistant fader network since the reference pin generates 5 volts So the way this works is as so the output transistors will be operating in push-pull mode, meaning that the emitters E1 and E2 will be high and low at different times. So when E1 is on or the output transistor one is high, is turned on, so the MOSFET will be on since there will be a bias at its gates. It will be about 10 volts drop at its gates, and so this will allow current flow from the 12 volts positive realm through this have primary winding through the transistor into to ground. So when E2 turns on and E1 turns off, the second MOSFET will conduct the current through through the other half primary winding through the MOSFET into ground. So there is this snubber network which acts as a um, protection. So when the transistors are shooting, there will be some high spikes generated at the primary winding. So, so this snapper network acts as a uh, mechanism to short the high spike across the primary winding so this will result in a uh, rather smooth square wave on the output so for the feedback network i talked about so this small capacitor acts as a dc storage so and this allows feedback to the secondary amplifier so the first amplifier is disabled but you can use it for current limiting if you want to ensure that the battery does not get drained or you can even use it as a primary voltage sensing to turn off the inverter when the battery drops to less than 10.5 volts so for the transformer everything is as shown the windings are 6 by 6 turns on each half primary winding on 20 turns so this will give you to 40 turns uh, to 40 volts on the output if you want 120 volts the second turns will be about 60 so for the transformer you can you should use one with three terminals on one side and two terminals on the other side and ensure that it's range enough to handle about a thousand watts or 500 to a thousand watts or any other wattage you are interested in so that's basically about this inverter project don't forget to drop a like comment if you have any suggestions or queries and most importantly subscribe and turn on the notifications for future uploads and amazing projects i'll see you in the next video have a nice time